Hi, everybody. So in this question, we have got six identical math texts, a chemistry, a physics, and a biology text, and we're arranging them. And this restriction here, this question says, how many ways can we do it if not all of the math books are together? Okay, so some of them can be together, but not all of them are together. So what we're going to do with this is, uh, we can do this one then in the negative. This is very difficult to build by trying to guess how they could be arranged and separated by the other books. That's very, very difficult. It's easier to take all of the ways they can be organized without restriction, okay, which is what we did in the first question, and then we're going to subtract from it all of the different ways those books could be together. Now, if all of the six math textbooks are together, there are six of them. There are six factorial ways they can sit together. Okay. So think of it like this. You've got this. Let's think of the math here. M is going to be all six of them. Math textbook. And then you've got the chemistry, the physics, and the bio. Well, if we treat all of those six math books as one big math book, that leaves us with one, two, three, four objects to permute. Okay. Now, we would still divide by the six factorial. Okay, because they are exactly the same. So really what happens here is, is these things will cancel and it's really just like having four objects that we're permuting. You treat those things all as the same thing. Another way of thinking about this, and I know that, that some teachers do like to approach it like this, nine factorial over six factorial is the way to organize it again in general. And we're gonna subtract from that and again, maybe six factorial, but in this case we'll do three factorial. Okay, now I may be running, letting this run into each other here. Just give me two seconds to get rid of that. Okay, so maybe we do see this as the big math textbook and we've got the chemistry, the physics, and the bio. So if we've got the math textbooks permuted, there's my six factorial, I've now got three books left over and that's what this is all about. But now the question is, now that I factored these guys, where can I put the math texts? Well, they can fit here, 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 or here. So there are four choices. So I multiply that by four. But then once again, because these books are identical, I would divide by six factorial. Okay, so either way you want to think about it, that's, that's fine.